This is Baseball History Daily, and I'm Tom, a baseball nostalgia enthusiast, and I'm just here to bring you a few minutes about today in baseball history. And here's my co-host, Robin, to jump into today's highlights. September 5th, 1954, Hank Aaron goes 4-for-4 in a 9-7 triumph over the Cubs, but breaks his ankle in the second game of a doubleheader and is lost for the remainder of the season. September 5th, 1995, Cal Ripken ties Lou Gehrig's all-time mark by appearing in his 2,130th consecutive game. In the fifth inning, when the game became official, the crowd erupted in applause. The 35-year-old shortstop played every game of the Orioles' schedule for 14 years and would continue to do so for another three seasons. September 5, 1998, a banner day for the performance enhanced. Giants outfielder Barry Bonds sets a new National League mark, reaching base in 15 consecutive plate appearances, breaking Dodger Pedro Guerrero's mark of 14 established in 1983. Mark McGuire slugs his 60th home run of the season to become the third player in history to reach the milestone. The first inning blast off lefty Dennis Reyes helps the Cards on their way to a 7-zip blanking of the Reds. Sammy Sosa hits home run number 58 in Chicago's 8-4 win over the Pirates as the Cubs maintain their lead in the race for the wild card spot. And on September 5, 2002, Texas pounds Baltimore 11-2 as shortstop Alex Rodriguez homers twice to give him 50 for the year. He becomes the fifth player in history to record successive 50 home run seasons. That was September 5th, This Day in Baseball. Our extensive collection of radio broadcasts captures the game's most iconic moments. They are retold to you by those who lived it. These broadcasts narrate more than just the game. They paint a vivid picture of the era and the legends that shaped it. Have a quick listen. Brought to you direct from Comiskey Park. Speaking to you from Crosley Field in Cincinnati. This is Ernie Harwell at Memorial Stadium in Baltimore, Maryland. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen of the radio audience. We're at Maven Field. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen of the radio audience. Today we're out at the Polo Ground, that historic old home of the New York Giants, nestled in the lee of Coogan's Bluff on the island of Manhattan. Hi there, everybody. This is Rob Geiner. Welcome to another big league game from Houston, Texas, here at Cole Stadium. And now good afternoon, everyone, to baseball fans everywhere. This is Bill Slater with Al Helfer and Bill Corum greeting you from Brick Stadium in Detroit. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Start using a sportsman's Welcome you to another baseball broadcast, brought to you direct from Wrigley Field. Well, it's another beautiful day here in Yankee Stadium. This is Ben Scully, along with Jerry Doggett and Al Helper, inviting you to stay with us now. Excited to start listening to some of these games? Just come on over to members.thisdayinbaseball.com and join us today. As we wrap up today's show, thank you, Robin, for today's highlights. Uh, you can find her uh, for voiceover work at robinsays.com. And if you enjoy the podcast, please help me out and do one of three things. Follow, subscribe this podcast and leave a review. It really helps. Share us with your baseball friends. uh, Let them know about us. Or jump over to members.thisdayinbaseball.com. Join our email list, community, and our family of baseball podcasts.